Hello, fellow creatives. Today, we are taking a look at Frog Legs Treehouse Adventure Base. It's a real treat. It goes above the trees, it goes below the trees. It's really expansive. You'll really enjoy it. Side note, this uh, is a little framey. I was experimenting with how to record a live stream and video at the same time, but it shouldn't really bother you too much unless you are really, really used to 60 frames per second being buttery smooth, okay? So just to let you know ahead of time, uh, this channel is also filled with stories and building showcases designed to inspire you creatively. So if that sounds awesome to you, please consider subscribing. So let's jump right into the tour. So here's the generator, a okay. whole bunch of invisible wires around you. This is just for new flyers to fly out. That's just a drop. And then I built an under part to this bridge. Uh huh. Here, down here. And there's nothing down here, but this is really the first thing I built because I thought, oh yeah, between these two giant trees, like the biggest bridge in the world. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> underground part of the bridge too. Oh, you can use it for extra arch storage or something. Oh, yeah. How <laughs> about Argent's? Oh, There's enough at Zura's base. And this is <laughs> yeah. just the workshop. I Wait, try what? to keep it compact. This looks cool. So how'd you get the shape? Oh, hey, Zura. I um, just put down a bunch of triangles. I couldn't really, you know, figure out how to make it just round around the tree. So, yeah, I just put down a whole bunch of triangle foundations just everywhere and anywhere. Mm -hmm. And put a wall so there's a workshop, the um, crafting station, and then Ecos. I really like the Eco Stable mod, so there's just a small place dedicated for that. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, and then the kitchen. I'm not much into decorating. I'm more like functional, putting things where they should be. Uh huh. Where I hatch eggs for tiny dinos, little otters, and yeah, there's that. And then there's a purchase. I haven't really been breeding, so these are just the pteranodons and a few RGs. And then you can go up any one of these ladders okay. near the door. Uh, let me see if I can find one. There's are they one. locked? Mm, they're locked, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're locked. So now we're on the second floor. Yeah, more perch, and then access to the roof, and then there's this tiny place where I meant to keep dimorphodons just wandering around next to the tree. Oh, sorry, I'm on the way. And this is how I figured that the foundations with S plus can actually go around the tree with um, a square, a few triangles, a square. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'll have to come here when I'm to uh, wanting to do a tree base and just look at this for reference. Huh. Yeah, I've got a very similar concept going in the, in the tower I built uh, that uses a very similar uh, uh, mm -hmm. approach. There's nothing cool. much on the roof other than I like every part of the base to have access so we can jump around and run around on top and it's totally intended yeah absolutely cool. and then i guess we could run back towards the larger middle bridge and just fall okay. off the roof here geronimo <laughs> and this is where karm got stuck earlier yeah just to put the things on the on the walls all those leaves um whoa Oh, it's unlocked! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, Squee! That, was, that was unexpected. <laughs> I, uh, all passengers off the quest so I can maneuver back I out. Right. <laughs> ah! I just see a quest. Did you make it out? I'll walk mine out. Oh, it makes it easier. Me Wait, I need to get ah. I'm this running away. <laughs> He's got me! He's got me! I'm on the wall! <laughs> <laughs> What a ride! Good. I didn't expect to fall through the floor, I'm sorry. I thought it was a skylight. Is this intended to look like a giant hangar bay? Um, yeah, it, kind of. It kind of does. I meant to park a Quetzal here, but it's like just large enough to fit a Quetzal with a platform. Nice. I did that before. And on the other <laughs> side of the bridge, there's another exit to that under part. And then here, I just started adding um, another place to drop my Anki and then forge metal. Okay. I forgot whose build I, f you know, got an idea from, but I just built that t tall wall so I could just drop the Anki and drag him off the quits. Oh, okay. Nice. This will be crafting station number two. I'd like to shout out Dagal who just pledged on Patreon this month. Welcome to the Patreon creatives. Hope you've enjoyed your stay here so far. Guys, 
Patreon is the next step of support beyond just watching my videos and enjoying my content. Now, it's not for everyone, but if you like my content enough to financially support me directly, then I'm prepared to give back to you in the form of ad blocker forgiveness, exclusive Discord chat rooms with our close-knit community of gamers like Frog Legs and Deagle, and game servers and shoutouts like I do each week. Uh, so check it out if you're interested. Let's go ahead and get back to the tour. And then up this bridge is where the tiny animal zoo is supposed to be, but there's not a lot of tiny animals. I just moved every half of things up here. Okay, so a lot of uh, Eco Stables mod going on here. Each of these ladders on either side, they should be unlocked. Okay. Uh, are you going to, like, bring some aberration dinos over? Looks like you already got some. Yeah, got just glow tails. There's access to this roof, and then... Yeah, so you can see everything from here. Sometimes here, or if we dump, jump down <laughs> to um, the other tree where there's more Ecos mods, like the tree, the closest one right over. A bunch of um, parachute birds fall down here every now and then. This is supposed to be, or going to be like a lounge area, but I haven't been giving much time to it. And then going down to this metal section, is a clearer space of um, how I situated things around the tree. Mm -hmm. There are glass foundations, added more metal, and this is just to make it easier for a wyvern to you know, actually land. Nice. Uh, go nose down into the platform and then hopefully lands at some point. Yeah, this looks really cool. I like the triangular windows. Um, we'll have to head back up into the tiny zoo. Okay. There's an elevator on the other side. Oh, okay, everybody on? Okay. I tried to align it as much as I could, but everything's a little bit off. That's a little hard to align from a tree, but it's looking pretty good. Yes. Yeah, it's a pretty close align. Yep. I aligned everything from the top platform and then just and I worked my way around in the middle one, and then we've reached the bottom. Woo! Wow. That's lots, an impressive elevator, Lots frog. of foundations. Oh, oh yeah, so many silica pearls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then there's uh, not much down uh, here. Um, I guess we'll go... Your base. <laughs> yeah, let's follow the green <laughs> numbers. Okay. Yeah. Lots of tiny things, you know, get uh -huh. caught there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, tiny things. I think it's just architecturally, it looks really cool. Even if you didn't intend, you know, a lot of stuff. Yeah. It, I mean, it's just still neat to see the tree platforms just hovering above this huge kind of almost castle-y sort of wall structure. So, yeah, this is, you know, space for larger dinos, which I don't hope to have too mm -hmm. much of. If we walk like maybe not into the giant, you know, the Olympic pool. You can walk over on the sides. It's, the pool. Yeah. That's a, that's a good name for it. <laughs> I'm yeah. still loading in. Um, okay, kids beware. There's a dead pteranodon in the water. <laughs> Ew. Uh, <laughs> the shield your eyes. From the bridge to the store. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, wow. Another... Nice little bits of architecture mm. to show off. And then underneath oh, yeah. here, because they like, you know, doors everywhere, everywhere. There's like a little passageway underneath the door that I left. Should make it wider. But it leads from the pool all the way to outside. There's not a lot of lighting. Okay. Anybody find me? Nope. Oh, I see it. Oh. Go. Oh. Nice. So there's this, and then... I call this an adventure base. Uh, heading yeah. off to this um, giant face shape. It's supposed to be a face of a frog. This <laughs> is where frogs are supposed to be bred. But I've only gotten one frog down and killed, I think, its mother or something. But Aww. Yeah. Jeez. I found a better mother. <laughs> I found a better mother. <laughs> So this is a small space, and then um, leading out from here, there's not much above the roof. Um, going back out the door. Back out the So there's face. some kind of greenhouse or something over here. Yeah, last 
piece of thing to check out. There's the greenhouse. Very cool. Yeah, I base it around a bunch of triangles and squares. Your gardener seems well situated since she drinks so much beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's my base. Very cool. Really nice. Very nice. nice. So hopefully Frog Legs has given you some building ideas or inspiration to help you get started on your own treehouse base or, or something similar. If it has helped you, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below just how and if you, anything we've shown in this video has uh, given you an idea for your own base. Uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and get an update from Carm and Amy and Lapis's Scorched River Ranch. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when it releases. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.